Groucho Marx uh, had been doing the show, and it, they ran out of a studio, so NBC converted a radio studio into a television studio. And I was kind of in charge of seeing how that work progressed. And uh, uh, I have to back up. Uh, NBC realized that live television wasn't the answer. It was good for a lot of shows, but it had no residual factor. So they were starting to do more film shows. Well, the five unit managers that we had, we could see ourselves out on the street again. So Fenton Co., who happened to be worked in film many years before, he was a prop man, and uh, worked on Good Good Did, which was one of my favorite shows. And uh, he said, I'll teach you guys whatever I can. So uh, every once a week, we sat down in the conference room, and he showed us what a board looked like. He showed us all these different things. So it was through his knowledge that I got into what film would be and how to do it. And I practiced it. And then, uh, but Ralph Ed, uh, Gr uh, we're talking Red Skelton, mm -hmm. he, he just was wonderful. He was, no, but that, was that live? Red Skelton that, that was, was live. That was live. Okay. And was was Groucho Marx live or was that? No, that was film. So now we're in film. So this is why you're learning this skill right. now. Okay. Now, uh, Ralph Edwards, uh, I mean, uh, Groucho Marx, they had a setup and it was quite, uh, at the time, uh, each they had three cameras, but there was two, ca three placement for cameras, but there was two cameras. And they were able, had a machine where you ran out of film and the A camera would automatically switch to the B camera. So you didn't have to stop and reload. And while you went from A to B, you could reload A and then back and forth. So the cameras were stacked, basically? So you're uh, basically shooting the same shot. Yeah, they were okay. side by side. But uh, the writers would interview and the director would interview a contestant. And uh, they would find out. And then, in those days, of course, there was no teleprompter. That hadn't been invented yet. Cue cards were something that, of course, no one liked. Uh, but they, they had, remember in the bowling alley where you wrote the score here and it showed up on a screen above? That's what they used. And they had put a one lighter for Groucho to ask this question of the contestant. And he asked the one lighter, and that was it. He'd take off. It was all ad lib. He didn't work from a script. Not once.